Many artists aren't content to let their art just sit there. They want it to move. If you take a look at Alexander Calder's mobiles or George Rickey's sculptures, you'll see examples of art in motion. Taking inspiration from these artists, I'm going to demonstrate how to make kinetic sculptures composed of a rotary hub, rotating blades, and sails that move with direct air currents like this. Let's start from the bottom. Styrofoam makes a great base. Next, take a piece of sculpture wire for a vertical hub. Towards the bottom, I've formed a circular foot, then bent the remaining wire so that it can be pushed into the styrofoam. I then form two small U-shaped pieces, which I'm using to secure the wire to the base. To make it steadier, cut a cardboard circle with a hole in the middle to fit over the wire and glue that to the base. Next, cover the wire with a paper straw. As I apply the first bead, I'm going to glue it to the cardboard and then also to the vertical hub for strength. Add a couple more large wooden beads before creating a rotating blade. For the blade, I'm going to use the same aluminum wire, but you could also switch to copper wire if you wanted to add some more color. Create a tight loop in the center, just a little wider than the hub, and then bend the edges. These can always be reshaped later. Add the next bead to hold it in place. For best rotation, use round beads on either side of the blade. A square bead might catch on the corners. Keep alternating beads and wire until you reach the top of the hub. Now the beads are going to make it rigid so the inner wire doesn't bend. Gravity is going to naturally pull the beads down against the blades. To prevent that, glue the first bead above each blade to the hub and leave just a little gap in between. The last step is to create the sails. A variety of lightweight paper could be used. I like foil paper because it's easy to bend around the wire and can be reshaped later. To make a sail, I fold it and cut a shape so that I have two matching sides. Cover the inside with some glue and wrap it around the wire like this. Once everything is dry, adjust all the wire blades and all of the sails so that they don't run into each other and they can catch the air currents. The sculpture may be finished by decorating the sails with marker or covering the base with paper acrylic paint. There you have it. It's fun, it's whimsical, it's kinetic. Give it a try. Visit dickblick.com for a list of materials and the national standards for visual arts education.